lecture we will see lambda functions in python in detail lambda function as told earlier lambda function is a small anonymous function a lambda function can take any number of arguments but can only have one expression syntax is lambda arguments colon expression and we will see an example for here we have used three set of lambda function in the first case lambda function accepts one argument a and expression as a plus 10 in the second case this lambda function takes two arguments a comma b and we are finding product of those two argument and in third case we are using three arguments a b c and the expression as a sum of those three arguments and for the first lambda function the parameter passed to this variable a as phi second case a and b is assigned parameter phi comma 6 respectively and the third case phi 6 2 is passed to a comma b comma c respectively so the output of first lambda function will be 15 and the result of second lambda function will be 30 and the third lambda function this example will give the sum of 5 plus 6 plus 2 which is 13 and which is displayed using concern print function so this is a small anonymous function which accepts uh, some arguments like either one argument or two argument or three argument or n number of arguments but it contains only one expression we can see in each and every example there is only one expression so these kinds of functions are called lambda functions now why use lambda functions the power of lambda is better shown when you use them as anonymous function inside another function say you have a function definition that takes one argument and that argument will be multiplied with an unknown number and this example lambda functions work very well see this example the output is shown here here there is a lambda function which are with an argument a and in this lambda function the expression is a into n so is n as an unknown argument so with my doubler equal to my function of 2 so this 2 is pass to this argument n and what we are printing my doubler of 11 so the lambda function will be pass the value 11 so 11 into 2 will be performed and the result will be displayed as 22 This is an example showing the use of lambda functions. Now, how to use a lambda function with filter method? The filter function Python takes in a function and a list of arguments. This offers an elegant way to filter out elements of a sequence for which the function return trues. use of lambda function with filter function with an example there is a program and output in this program we have created a list with elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the first print statement will display the content of list and see we are creating a new list and while creating a new list we are using lambda function as well as filter function and the new list should be a list so we are type casting using the list function or list method and what is done in the lambda function lambda function again takes one argument x here and the expression is x more to not equal to 0 that we are taking those x which are odd numbers we are eliminating even numbers from that list so the condition to eliminate even numbers or to accept odd numbers is x more 
not equal to 0. And from which we have to eliminate? That is the O from the old list. So we are asking this lambda function to filter out. So in order to filter out, we have to use the method filter. So this lambda function takes an argument x, will evaluate an expression based on the expression that has returned true. We are filtering out some values from a list. So see, what is the content of new list? In the new list, all the even numbers are filtered out and only the odd numbers are taken in. This is an example showing the usage of lambda function using the filter function. And this filter function filter out all the odd elements from a list. Likewise, we can filter out the unnecessary elements from a list. For that, we are using filter function. Next is the use of lambda function with map function. The map function in Python takes in a function and a list of arguments as told with the case of filter function. The function is called with a lambda function and a list and a new list is returned which contains all the lambda modified items returned by that function for each item. So each item in the old list will be taken some operation will be performed on each item that is specified in the function. And this items, each modified items will be added to a new list and the new list will be returned by using lambda function together with a map function. We will see again here. See, there is an old list. And we are printing the old list. The old list is printed. And what is done using the help of lambda and map function? Again, we need a list. So you are using list function to typecast it to list. Map function inside the map function, lambda function. It takes an argument x. Here, I am performing the operation x plus 2 to the old list. So for each and every element in the old list, a particular function will be executed. That particular function is x plus 2 in case of this example. So 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 2, 4, 3 plus 2, 5. A new list is returned. And in the next statement, the new list is printed. Now, here's another example showing this lambda and map function. Both this lambda function accepts two arguments. This lambda function accepts two arguments x comma y and it performs the operation x plus y where the first argument is taken from the list odd, old, sorry not odd, old and the second argument is taken from the list old list 1. See the list old list and old list 1. So what is performed? Element by element addition of two lists is performed. And what is given as output? A new list is given as output. And that new list is displayed using the sum function. The sum function contains the sum of two lists. Element by element sum of two lists. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 3 plus 3, 6. 4 plus 4, 8. 5 plus 5, 10. 6 plus 6, 12. So the element by element addition of two lists is Performed and that list is returned as sum list. Now we will see the use of lambda function with reduce function. Again, the reduce function Python takes in a function and list of arguments. The function is called with lambda function and a list and a new reduce result is returned. This performs a repetitive operation over the pairs in the list. That is, if the list contains n elements, sum of n elements can be performed. Or, likewise, operation can be performed using this reduce function. This is a part of fun tools module. F-U-N-C tools module. So, we need to import this module by using reduce function. 
see an example use of lambda function together with reduce function here there's a list my intention is to find sum of elements on the list so initially the list is declared and the elements are printed using print function print method now in order to use reduce we have to import func tools module func tools dot reduce method can be called again lambda function which accepts two arguments x comma y and we are performing x comma y using the content of old list so here x plus y means we are finding sum of elements of all elements in this list it will be assigned and this reduce function will return the final sum to this variable sum the sum of elements on the list is displayed using the last print statement so in this lecture we have seen more usage of lambda function use of lambda function with some functions like filter map and reduce thank you for now